What's up YouTube fam, Will Sonic here, coming back at you with another video. I just got a new camera, so be on the lookout for better quality videos. Also, I am wearing my Sigma Theta towel colors on. If anybody doesn't know what this is, this is the second largest nursing organization in the world. It is the International Honor Society of Nursing. I worked hard for this, you can say, kind of. Maybe. Anyways, getting back to the main topic of this video, why are hospitals hiring BSN educated nurses over ADNs? If anybody doesn't know, ADN is an associate degree in nursing, which only takes two years. BSN is a bachelor's of science in nursing, which usually takes about four years. Both degrees will allow you to practice as a nurse as long as you pass your NCLEX licensing exam. However, there is one major distinction that I will be delineating in this video and I will be providing evidence-based practice as to why BSN educated nurses are more desirable in the hospital. If you are pre-nursing and have not decided which route to go, watch this video as it might provide some valuable information for you on your journey. We are going to start off with the ADN. Obviously, this is a much quicker and less less expensive route. Let's say if you have kids, a sick family member that you need to attend to, or other responsibilities that require a lot of your time, getting your ADN first might be the better option. Here's why. As opposed to spending four years going to clinical and going to class, you can get this degree in two years or less, start working as a nurse, gain experience, make a good amount of income, and later join a bridge program, RN to BSN, that allows you to get your bachelor's degree online. This option is for people who are very limited with their time. You don't have to go to class or go to clinicals when you take this online route. You have the freedom of completing assignments when you have time, as long as it's due by its due date. Also, once you start working as a nurse, there are some hospitals that will pay for your education, whether it be through their hospital union or through their tuition tuition reimbursement program. These resources that hospitals offer are very beneficial and need to be taken advantage of. As far as getting a job, since there is a national shortage of nurses, the likelihood of you getting a job in a hospital are increased. Some hospitals might want you to get your bachelor's degree within a certain time frame. And as far as the job description goes, you are still doing the same work a BSN educated nurse would do, providing bedside care, administering meds, documenting, assessing. And now moving on, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. This is the degree I currently have, you can acquire this degree much quicker than four years if you already have a bachelor's degree in another major and simply just want to switch over. They are called accelerated programs and usually take about one or two years to complete. The reason this degree takes four years is because it enhances the professional development of the individual. This route includes courses that the ADN program does not offer. These courses include a management and leadership class, a critical thinking class, a therapeutic communication class, research and theory class. Nurses who have their BSN are offered more leadership positions, like maybe being a nurse educator on the floor or even being a clinical nurse leader. If you are interested in the teaching or administrative role, you will need a bachelor's in nursing to fulfill this. The main difference between these two degrees is the long-term opportunities. Nurses who have their BSN also get paid more. Here's why. That critically thinking class is ultimately improving the way we interpret things. That research class is teaching all about evidence-based practice, offering statistical information of how better patient care can be achieved. That leadership class is teaching you what direction to go and how to effectively get there. This results in a well-rounded individual who can possibly have an advantage over an ADN. Obviously, there are other factors that contribute to patient care like experience and there are some ADNs who in my experience are phenomenal nurses, but I think hospitals prefer people who continue advancing their education. Here's why I currently think this. There was a retrospective observational study that was conducted in 2014 that included more than 8,500 med search patients matched with nearly 1,500 direct care nurses in an academic medical center in the year of 2011. This research study lasted over seven months and looked at hospital mortality, 30-day readmission, length of hospital stay, and total hospitalization costs. The study found that patients who received 
10% more of their care from BSN educated nurses reduced the odds of mortality by roughly 11%. Hospital stays reduced by 2% and the odds of readmission by 19%. Dr. Yakushiva, who was the researcher that founded the study, states, the real contribution of the study is that when we looked at patients in the same hospital who were hospitalized on the same unit with the same diagnosis, patients who received more than 80% of their nursing care from BSN educated nurses tended to do better despite often being sicker at the time of admission. She also states, this makes you think, how can we all give our patients an equal opportunity to receive the high quality care they deserve? The answer is, or at least seems to be, investing in nursing education. Our study shows that these investments can also have real cost saving effects in the long term. There was another study done that was published in the March 2013 issue of the Health Affairs that basically stated the increase in the number of baccalaureate nurses is linked to lower rates of post-surgery mortality. This is especially hit home for me because I am a nurse who works in the operating room and I can see how easy it is for complications to arise. The study used a Pennsylvania nurse survey and patient discharge data from 1999 to 2006. They found that a 10 point increase in the percentage of nurses holding a baccalaureate degree within a hospital was associated with a reduction of 2.12 deaths per 1,000 patients and for a subset with patients with complications, an average reduction of 7.47 per 1,000th patient. Now, people watching this video might say that is not a significant reduction. However, every single life matters, and if we can advance our education to reduce the amount of deaths, I am all for it. Imagine being that one deaf, someone you love or someone you are close to, I bet you you would feel some type of way and feel different about this statistic. They also estimated that if all 134 hospitals in their study had increased the percentage of nurses with baccalaureates by 10 points during their study's time period, some 500 deaths among general orthopedic and vascular surgery could have been prevented. Obviously, this is an estimated assumption, but it just goes to show you how advancing your education in nursing can have potentially a life-saving effect. There are many other studies done that come to the same conclusion and this is why hospitals want to achieve more than 80% of their nursing staff with BSN educated nurses. This also allows a hospital to achieve magnet status, which is a title given by the American Nursing Credentialing Center to recognize healthcare facilities for their nursing excellence. This about wraps up the video. I hope you guys learned something today. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. In the description below, I will be including the research study links so you guys can take a look at them and stay tuned for more nursing videos.